Hi guys, so let's now take a look at the interrelated relationships between the product curves and the cost curves. We're going to base this on the previous cost and product schedules that we've looked at in our previous lessons. Uh, so let's take a look. First up, on this graph, we've got average and marginal product being reflected. Uh, so we'll focus on uh, those average product and uh, marginal product curves. Uh, down here, meanwhile, we'll have the uh, marginal cost and the average variable cost also being reflected. So let's take a look first up. Now, initially, we saw there's increasing marginal returns. So the marginal productivity rises before then beginning to fall and we can therefore see falling marginal product taking place let's just label that up as our marginal product now meanwhile what we also see here is that the marginal product will pull up the average product so this pulls up the average product to a high point now this high point occurs of course because uh, here the marginal product is still pulling up the average now as soon as soon as that average product uh, that is then greater than the marginal product well we know that the marginal is then going to start pulling down the average product so we can therefore see that there will be a, a fall in the average product and the average product reaches its maximum at this point, okay? Uh, and that is, of course, a labor level of two, uh, two laborers, two employees, two workers there. Okay, so that is uh, our relationship that we can see here, but let's now just see how it actually is reflected when it comes to the marginal cost and the average variable cost. So let's start up with our uh, marginal cost curve. So the marginal cost, because the marginal uh, product is actually rising, it means that the, um, the marginal cost is, of course, falling during this period. So when the marginal cost is at its lowest, the marginal product will be at its highest. Now, we then see the marginal cost beginning to rise like so. Uh, so we can see that nice and clearly, um, and we can see this relationship between the max marginal product and the minimum marginal cost. So that's really quite clear to be seen there. Now, if we then have a look at our average variable cost, well, the average variable cost will look something like so. Okay, so uh, there's our average variable cost. Now, why does this look uh, as it does here, why does it reach this point? Well, we see the maximum average product at this point, and then that is the minimum level for our average variable cost, because that is when your average product is at its highest. So it stands to reason that your average variable cost must be at its lowest, and thereafter must be pulled up by the marginal cost. The cost of producing that extra unit of output is rising, so that pulls up the average uh, variable cost there as the average product falls. Okay, so let's just run through the key points that we've got here. Firstly, we see increasing marginal returns and we see those uh, diminishing marginal returns. Now, we also see rising marginal product in this first section and falling marginal cost. So the marginal product rises, the marginal cost falls. We see rising average products, the average product uh, rises, and therefore we will have falling average variable costs. Uh, now, during this phase, well, we can see that there's going to be a falling marginal product and a rising marginal cost. So we can see that the uh, marginal product is, of course, falling, and the marginal cost then begins to rise. Okay, finally, we see rising average product and the average variable cost continues to fall as the average product continues to rise. Okay, and finally, we've got a falling marginal product 
and a rising marginal cost. So the marginal product now is falling away and the marginal cost therefore rises. Uh, and finally, we've got a falling average product and a rising average variable cost. So we see the average product reaches its high point and its low point Okay, uh, on the AVC line down here and there after the AVC uh, rises as the average product falls. Guys, I hope that's been useful just in terms of understanding uh, the way in which these uh, curves are interrelated there. Thanks so much for joining me. See you next time.